the EvoTech Rad Guard for the KTM 890's arrived. It's got the front part and the lower bracket and a bag of goodies which I'll tip into the box. So a few rubber grommets and a couple of screws so it shouldn't be too much of a difficult install. So let's do this. So there's little holes. I'm pretty sure it might be that way. Okay, so that's how you just force it in. And it sits like that. So they're all circular holes. So you won't miss it because the others are a hex shape. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the seven on the center. Just check the fronts that they're all sitting flush on the outside. Okay, that's the first step done. Oh, here we go, there's one missing. This side. Okay, next one step to install this. So we need to remove the two stock bolts and then reinstall these two. On the underside of the radiator there's this bolt and this bolt on the front. Just got to remove those two with a size 8 mil bit. One. Now just keep these and put them in a plastic bag with your original parts. So everything, every time you change your bike, keep your bits and pieces. The other tip, clean your radiator from any debris. So that when you put the rad guard on, you know your bike's at least clean underneath. The next step, I probably don't have to do this but I don't mind a little bit of Loctite on these because the chances of this falling off it's quite high so I'd rather try prevent that so this bracket pretty simple you've got the drain hole the plug here so that feeds into that and then it sits up against the the two holes and then we'll just feed that through I'm just going to get the first one in and go the second side.
Now I'm not going to nip these up too tight. I just want the bracket sitting pretty much in place. not easy to get on. The other side. Okay. Lock tight onto this grommet screw. Here's the red guard, it's finally in. The only difficult part was slipping the top edge in to hook on top of the radiator. So, um, I did notice in the EvoTech instructions that they said there's a um, like a foam spacer to go in between on the lower bracket. Uh, it didn't come in the box, so um, having a little rattle of the um, red guard on top it's um i don't think it'll be an issue so there you go the bike's finally got the radiator guard after quite a few rides i've done i was concerned that i'd probably get a stone hit it but now that it's on that should save the problem of worrying about having a radiator issue or a stick going into it and yeah it looks pretty good Nice little vented cutouts made out of aluminium, finished in a nice black, matte black. There's the, the logo. Matching with the EvoTech crash bobbins. So there you go, that's another install video complete. Thanks for watching.